Hey, nice nice what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Walking Dead product review on the McFarlane Toys AMC's Walking Dead's Lucille. If you're trying to pick this up, you can't get it. But big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And I gotta give a big thanks to McFarlane Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, go ahead and check the link in the description below. And the packaging over here I measured out to be 34 inches across. So yeah, that's a life size replica looking really cool already with that barbed wire and everything I like how we have the barbed wire across the packaging I think that's pretty nice we even get some blood right over here I like how the text looks right there uh, on this side it just says the walking dead and then looking on the very back you can see some images of the product right there full-size plastic bat measuring 32 inches in length and on this side it says highly detailed bat complete with identical markings barbed wire wrapped barrel end and then you can see the color tops figures over there and then on this side over here it says adult role play replica bat crafted to match the exact bat Lucille carried by actor Jeffrey Dean Morgan who portrays Negan on AMC's The Walking Dead and then there's nothing at the bottom all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's Lucille out of the packaging and McFarlane Toys today fantastic job with this replica. I really dig it a lot. I love the weight to it. It actually has some nice heft to it. Uh, from what I hear, the Skybound version of Lucille is completely hollow. This does not feel totally hollow. You could, you could, yeah, you could just hear that weight right there. So I think that is awesome. It's split up into several pieces though. Uh, you can see a seam right over here at the bottom. Then we get another seam right over here. And then there's another seam right up there. So it looks like if you're to really try to beat something with this, it might come apart. So yeah, you really don't want to do that. And there's actually a little sticker on it right here. It says not a toy. So when you first open it up, it says not a toy in several languages. So yeah, you don't want to, you know, try to really smack anybody with it because it could cause some harm. But man, the detail in this, the paint and the sculpt and everything, it's very realistic. And I'll do a comparison to an actual Louisville Slugger in just a minute, but I just wanted to zoom in over here because they hit the details so hard. Look at that. That is awesome. And I love how the paint came out for the barbed wire. That's great. I love the silver dry brushing going throughout. That just looks really good to me. And I love the wood grain on this too. Very impressive. Um, I'm going to say though, my one complaint is that there isn't any blood. I would like to have had one with blood on it. I think that would have been pretty sweet. I don't know if there's a Skybound version that has blood, but man, the barbed wire on this looks really cool. I'm really digging that a lot. And it's all made out of plastic. You can see some hoops are kind of, these are like little plastic pieces right here to, to tie everything together or hold everything in place. And I love the wood grain, the paint in it. It's just incredibly realistic, man. They did such a good job with this thing. I'm really digging this a lot. Where you'd see your Hillrich and Bradsby logo right in there. But in the comics and in the show, I think we just see the circle. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, looking at this part, you could really see the sculpted in wood grain and all the paint in there and everything. That is just awesome. I really dig that a lot. And then try to turn it around so you can see the very bottom. You get a four sculpted in the very bottom, some copyright info and everything. So it says it was made in 2016, AMC 2016. Now I did weigh this bat and it weighs out to one pound and eight ounces and measuring this guy across, or her, sorry, sorry Lucille, uh, she's at 32 and a half inches. Then here's the McFarlane Toys Lucille next to my prop that I use. This is my dad's old baseball bat, so it's an actual Louisville Slugger. You can see we have the four right there at the very bottom of it, just like how we have it on the replica. So I thought that's really cool. And then I actually weighed this one out to be five pounds and two ounces and it measures closer to 34 inches across so you could see this bat right here I mean looking at the top of it you know how it's all knotted and everything just like how it was with the other with the replica I think that's great and then here we have the uh, Hellrich and Bradsby logo right there in the middle so seeing the two baseball bats side by side it's kind of tricky to pick them up in full shot but there we go there we go not too bad I mean man for a replica that is not not bad at all. Let's take it outside. Now as hot as it is outside, it's still got to put on the leather jacket when you're holding the seal, right? Now this thing does have heft to it as I swing it around. That never was a the bat feels like it would break if I were to actually try to hit anything with it, you know? So as you can see, it, it might be wobbling a little bit right over here. So yeah, you don't you don't really ever want to hit anything with this thing, but it's still fun to swing around. Oh, what do you think of my swing, huh? No? No? Ah, I haven't hit a baseball in hella long. But yeah, I mean, it feels fairly sturdy. Just, you know, you don't want to be swinging it around too much. It, it will get wobbly. It is plastic, right? 
in case you guys wanted to see where I record the videos for the most part. That's Wilson over there. And then, yeah, behind the glass right over here, that's that's where the party happens. You can see a couple of little pieces right over there. The studio. Shut up, Wilson! So that's my review you guys. I think this is a pretty sweet bat, you know, very cool looking replica. I think they did a great job. I love the price point for this thing. At first I thought this thing would be like a hundred dollar replica piece, but no, it's closer to the $40, $30 range. It's very affordable. I think it's a really good looking piece and I highly recommend it. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe circle coming at your face. If you're already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so you know right away when Shardimus Prime videos are posted. And you can see photo gallery of images over at toynewseye.com. I'll catch you guys later. Wait. Posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. It's okay. Cortalo. That's crispy. We're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face.